Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's about people treating other people shockingly, but it's also, it's also about honesty and recognising what is going on. Um, um, it's, it's a very interesting film, Waltz with Bashir. Many of you may have seen it, but what's important... This scene also comes very close to the end. It's important to remember, as you see what the main man says, remember this film was produced with Israeli money, and it is an extraordinary thing for an Israeli-produced film to have the main character saying that, in, a, in substance, that he had become the Nazi uh, in the way they mm. behaved. I mean, very brave, very brave and very honest. Yeah, it's interesting. And it is, it is a series of interviews with real people mm. about real events, but animated. And the animation is very, I mean, quite atypical, very unusual yeah. and very compelling. Although, in a way, the use of animation in this film sets you up for a real shock at the end because right at the end you suddenly cut to real footage of real people in the Sabra and Shatula camps uh, running in distress um, and photographs of corpses lying about so that all of a sudden what you've understood as reality is transcended by actual reality. It's very shocking. shocking. Yeah. The yeah. point, I mean, it actually does matter because, uh, you know, I don't mean to harp on the refugee thing, but unless we actually understand the reality of what it is people that face. makes people flee, yeah. Yeah. we'll probably never quite come to grips with the need to treat them decently. You know, I mean, if, 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 if every Australian understood what sort of terrors boat people are escaping, um, they, they might ask themselves, well, would I do anything different in the same position? Would I act differently? Would I run for my life and get in whatever way I could? Or would I just stand around whilst the Taliban came and sliced up my family or do... You know, I mean, it's pretty... It's a no-brainer once you put yourself in their shoes.